Hello everyone, welcome to a new video of English Grammar. In this video, we are going to see the community tab questions which are already answered by the audience and we are going to analyze their answers and where it went wrong, we can also see that. So if you are new here, I would like you to inform that uh, we are having content in the English Grammar, NIOS, Maths content, Computer Science and English subject contents as well. You can also see Come uh, CBSC, NCRT textbook solved maths questions for class 11. So subscribe to the channel, give it a like if you enjoy the con content and share it with your friends. Let's begin. So already these questions are posted in the community tab. You can go and visit it there. Those who have not seen this. So already 99 people have answered for this question comes from English grammar. First question is which of the following is common noun? So this comes under the topic noun and already 89 people have answered it correctly. Though we have 5 percentage and 1 percent answers as wrong and why this has gone wrong let's analyze. So the meaning of common noun is a general term for person, place, thing or an idea opposed to a proper noun. Proper noun will be only one for a person. So which names a specific person, place or thing in case of proper noun. For common noun, we commonly use a name. Okay. Common nouns are not capitalized unless they begin a sentence and are of part of the title. Example, if you see, it would be teacher, doctor, student. About a place, it will be city, country, park, things, book, name, uh, car, table, name, idea. Uh, happiness freedom love all these things these all are known as common noun in case of proper noun you will have a specific name for a teacher a doctor a student okay so john can be a teacher but teacher is a common noun and john is a proper noun paris specific name a proper noun eiffel tower specific name so it is a proper noun so in this case you can see here london it is a proper noun our question is about common noun teacher it is a proper noun everest com a proper name so this is also not the answer nike also not an answer so this is the best answer for the question again another question is 26 people have answered this and it is identify the collective noun in the sentence so you have to find out which is collective noun A team of scientists is conducting an experiment. Okay. So you have to find the collective noun. Before going to the options, let's see what a collective noun is. Collective noun, it is a word that refers to group of people, animal or things that is considered as a single unit. Okay. It's a group of thing, animal or people like that. Even though a noun represents multiple items, it is treated as a singular noun. Example, we can say here, collective noun can be team, family, in a family we will have many members, crowd, group of people, audience, group of people watching a show like that, class, group of students, animals, flock, herd, pack, swarm, gaggle, okay, bunch, group, collection, set, fleet, all these represents group of some particular kind of unit, okay, it can be students which share a common property or so. So, in this um, given example, you can see here experiment not collective noun, scientist no. Team can be because team consists of many scientists. So, it is a proper single unit that represents scientists. So, in this case, it, uh, team is the answer, conducting also no. So, though many people have got the answers as wrong. You can see here this third one is the correct answer and these people have four percentage it was again eight percentage people have answered the wrong option so third one is the correct answer okay let's go to the next question which of the following is a proper noun as we have already seen what is a proper noun it specifically tells about a thing that is only one 
okay in this case you can see 50 people have answered though many have uh, given right answer some people have got it wrong so let's see why it is wrong so proper noun definition already it is given here examples are john mary barack obama paris australia so specifically it is representing one noun okay in this case city we cannot say it is a proper noun because it is a common noun river also common noun many different rivers are available japan represent a particular place so this is the answer and country also it's a common noun okay so this third one is the correct answer many have many have got it right though those who have got it wrong please analyze what what is the mistake here let's move on to the next question which of these nouns is an abstract noun? You have to find out what is an abstract noun out of this. So abstract nouns definition is, it is a type of noun that refers to something that cannot be physically touched, seen or measured. You cannot measure it, you cannot touch it and it cannot be seen. Those things, those nouns are known as abstract noun. Okay. It represents some idea, qualities, emotions. Okay. Um, Abstract noun offer, often express feelings, states, characteristics, conditions. Example, we can see like love. It cannot be seen, though it can be felt, but it cannot be seen. Happiness, sadness cannot be measured. Fear, anger cannot be measured. Bravery, somebody's honesty, kindness, intelligence cannot be measured, but it can be felt. Okay, freedom, peace, chaos, joy, all these terms that are being given in the example cannot be measured or touched or seen so let's see the given options which matches so the first option is the right answer and many have got it right as well though many answered the wrong option let's see why it is wrong so love that is the correct answer chair it is a common noun dog common noun book also comes under common noun category okay these are tangible objects can be seen touched okay so these are common nouns and this is the abstract noun hope you understood why this is like that next question is last one and it is the fifth question what type of noun is audience in the sentence the audience clapped after the performance 38 people have answered this and many have got it right as well 79 percentage is right though many got it wrong let's see why it is wrong and what is the right answer so we have to find say what is audience clap audience type nouns type okay so already uh, we have seen audience group of people who are watching a show or watching a performance so uh, it is collection of people who are doing that a group of people so such group of people expressed as a single unit is known as collective noun the definition we have already seen and even though the noun represent multiple items it is treated as a singular noun so in this case audience is a collective noun that's the reason it's not an abstract noun it's not a common noun it's not a proper noun okay nobody's name is specified it's not a proper noun it's um audience many audiences are there no it's not like that audience are together packed as a single unit that's why it is collective now okay hope you understood all these five questions why the answer is right and where it has went wrong so if you liked this video and if you want more videos do subscribe to the channel and give it a like and share it with your friends and also comment your feedback in the comment box thank you for watching